Thank you for subscribing to this channel. This is a reading part C practice video. According to the paragraph, the reason for not offering a wide range of elective surgical procedures to smokers who do not try or do not succeed in quitting is because they have a higher possibility of post-operative infection. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. The authors of the editorial, Dr. Matthew Peters and colleagues, state that smokers who undergo surgery have substantially higher risks, poorer surgical outcomes, and therefore consume more healthcare resources than non-smokers. The article also mentions that the new concerns are not based on cardiac and respiratory risks but on increased wound infection. This is supported by the following sentence. Surprisingly, these new concerns are not based on cardiac and respiratory risks, but increased wound infection. Option A is incorrect because the paragraph does not mention systematic research as the reason for refusing current smokers the opportunity for surgery. Option B is also incorrect because while the article mentions that smokers who undergo surgery consume more healthcare resources than non-smokers, the focus is on the higher risk of post-operative infection. Option C is incorrect because the paragraph specifically states that the new concerns are not based on cardiac and respiratory risks, but increased wound infection. Therefore, the impact on the patient's heart and lungs is not the reason for refusing current smokers the opportunity for surgery. Let's look at the next question.
In the given paragraph, Dr. Peters says that prioritizing patients is necessary and that it should be based on good evidence rather than on a whim or some political influence. He also provides evidence to support his claim that prioritizing patients based on smoking status can reduce harmful outcomes such as wound infections and abdominal wall site necrosis. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. The following sentence supports the correct answer. He believes that it's much better that the prioritization occurs on the basis of good evidence rather than on a whim or some political influence. This indicates that Dr. Peters acknowledges the need for prioritization, and the emphasis should be on evidence-based prioritization. Option B is incorrect because the paragraph does not mention anything about the cost-effectiveness of prioritizing patients. Option C is incorrect because the paragraph does not suggest that the government should be responsible for prioritizing patients. Dr. Peters is advocating for evidence-based prioritization regardless of who is responsible for it. Option D is incorrect because while Dr. Peters does provide evidence to support the claim that prioritizing patients based on smoking status can reduce harmful outcomes, it does not directly answer the question of whether prioritizing patients is necessary or not. Let's look at the next question. In the given paragraph, the writer uses the term, on a whim, to show Dr. Peters' belief that careful consideration is extremely important when determining priorities in healthcare. He argues that priorities should be based on good evidence rather than political influence or arbitrary decisions. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. The following sentence supports the correct answer. He believes that it's much better that the prioritization occurs on the basis of good evidence rather than on a whim or some political influence. This suggests that Dr. Peters believes that decisions based on careful consideration and good evidence are more effective and efficient than those based on a whim. Option A is incorrect because the paragraph does not suggest that further research should be carried out. Option B is partially incorrect because while Dr. Peters acknowledges that current healthcare systems may not be perfect, this is not the main point he is making in the paragraph. He is advocating for evidence-based prioritization rather than arbitrary decision-making. Option C is incorrect because while Dr. Peters does provide significant findings from recent research to support his argument, this is not the main point he is making in the paragraph. He is emphasizing the importance of careful consideration when determining priorities in healthcare.
In the third paragraph, Professor Coates argues that treatment should be provided based on the necessity of the individual patient, saying, you give treatment based on need and how a person will benefit. It's the urgency of that need that's the main factor. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Option A is incorrect because Professor Coates explicitly states that arranging patients based on them being more deserving or less deserving is not accepted medical treatment. Option C is also incorrect as Professor Coates acknowledges that lifestyle factors can affect treatment in limited circumstances, as he says, if, because of lifestyle factors, a treatment is not likely to work or it will be harmful, then obviously it should not proceed. Option D is incorrect as Professor Coates does not suggest that reducing cigarette intake is a prerequisite for receiving treatment. Rather, he encourages doctors to encourage patients to quit smoking but argues that withholding an operation as punishment for not giving up is not an acceptable approach.